Please, take your trousers off and sit down. I love it when you say that to me. <laughs> You're doing a great job making us be really creepy. Right? I'm so uncomfortable. I mean, you should be uncomfortable I, with Rasputin. I am. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for a prequel. Oh, okay. To the Kingsman. Called The King's Man. Oh. I think this might be about the origin, the origin story of, of the, the Kingsman. Kingsman. So we got a little period piece from Matthew Vaughn coming in. Love it. I think it takes place like World War One or something like that. I love a period piece. So yeah, maybe World War Two. We'll see. All right. But yeah. Well, let's get into it. I don't think we'll see anybody from the first two movies in this. No one we've we've already seen. Oh well. I don't think. So. I, it's not like I'm like, you know. But they are in production. I think the third Kingsman movie, like Chapter Three. Chapter Three of the the Kingsman. Yeah. So. We'll, well all right. Out. I can't wait to watch a prequel. Yeah. I've been liking the Kingsman movies. Yeah. They're just fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. Pretty well made. Fun action flicks, right? Absolutely. Well, should we jump in and go back in time and figure out what this Kingsman's all about? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe, come hang out with us for the Kingsman. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, for like commentary, access to polls, help us people watch next. The link is down there. Check it out. Let's watch. The King's Man. South Africa, 1902. A long time ago. Taking it way back. Voldemort. He who shall not be named. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Prison camp, huh? Can't be too careful with these boars and their guerrilla tactics. Too careful? Looks like this place could use a lot more. Oh, God. Time has not been kind here. Well, you'll have to explain that to Emily. On my return to England, it will be my first port of call. She's outside with Conrad. Oh, shit. Do you remember why King Arthur and his knights had a round table? Because it meant that all men were equal. It's important that people born into privilege lead by example. That's why your father and I are patrons of the Red Cross. We should get a round table. And which one would you be? I'd be Lancelot. Father would be Arthur. Mother Guinevere. And you, the mighty Merlin. Really? Is he giving them their ranks? The first Kingsman ranks? Merlin, the first Merlin. Yeah. Get down. Go back to Conrad. Oh, they're both dead. Oh no. Knowing how the next 40 years pans out, I think he's going to see lots of war. Yeah. Oh, the Dukes of Oxford. That's who he is. 12 years later. So 1914, then? So yeah, it should be about the start of World War One then. Ready for your maiden flight yet, Shola? Well, if God wanted man to fly, he would have given him wings. <laughs> yes, I suppose. Drive father's car. Mm -hmm. You haven't any wheels. <laughs> <laughs> this is like it. two years after the first flight? Four years after the first flight? Possibly. You think that my fear for Conrad's safety is a weakness? Fear is natural. The problem is, the more you fear something, the more likely it is to come true. 
Can you fight with only one arm? Oh, yes. If I had someone left to fight. <laughs> Shola, do you really Jesus. think a knife can beat a bullet? This is how people are fighting nowadays. <laughs> she just shot at them? <laughs> what kind of nanny is she? My father also brought me here for my first suit. Do you think it's just a suit store right now? Yeah. Back then, to be called a gentleman would have been a death sentence, not the mark of honor it is today we are oxfords not rogues hmm. it's brogues though in the present right mm -hmm. i'm worried that ferdinand's political ambitions may be putting him in danger i need you to do me a small favor what sort of favor was so he gonna kill franz ferdinand Protect him. Hell of an elevator. Holy shit. It's one elevator you don't want to get stuck on. Nope. Trust is having confidence in the honesty of another. That will be our weapon to change the world. Who's this bad guy? I don't know. Am I not worthy of a better animal? Yes, Putin. I have a bear. I will happily exchange it with you. I will be the great bear of Russia. Take what you believe is yours. Go ahead, Rasputin. Take it. Rasputin? You know who Rasputin is? No. It's a familiar name. I know I should know it, but He's I don't. He's the bad know. guy from Anastasia. Oh. But do not mistake fondness for weakness, you late Russian fuckstack! Oh, he's time sensitive, isn't he? The tortoise eventually wins the race. <laughs> he picked the turtle because he's always slow. He's always the last one there. Could be. Who is the head honcho? They never showed his face. Nice swing. Yeah, good reflexes. Well, the, the wee bear failed. I'm sorry, but you think you know what the world is like, but the truth is you're just a boy who has no idea what men are capable of. What, watching my mother die wasn't a good enough introduction? He oh, always got you there, doesn't he? Cyanide's gonna kill himself now? Years ago, there were three young cousins. They grew up to become Kaiser Wilhelm of Germany, Tsar Nicholas of Russia, and King George of England. And now, poor Ferdinand's assassination has given the moronic Kaiser a reason to reignite their childhood feud. But surely they've matured enough to avoid a war. One would hope so. <laughs> nope. My cousin. He was at that meeting. Why would we go to war over something so trivial? Because we gave Serbia our word. And besides, I hate it, Kaiser. A wise decision, my son. The soul of Russia is safe in your hand. Rasputin was like a evil scientist. He like mm. kept himself alive somehow. If I want a war, then I will have it. 
really the leader of Germany, the leader of Russia, and the leader of Britain were cousins? I know no history. I know no world history. <laughs> this was like World War One kind of took out. In, so the, like the king yeah, and queen um, ruled in Europe. monarchies, yeah. sorts of things. The object of war is not to die for one's country, but to make the enemy die for theirs. That's an interesting take on it. That's somebody else's quote. Not even I could have imagined a war like this. Yeah, World War One was horrible with all the trench warfare. Just dug trenches everywhere. Yeah. We will pull Russia out of our war and unleash the full might of Germany to destroy England. Rasputin, are you ready to begin the demise of King George? Thy will be done, my ship. Darn evil secret societies. When I was young, like you, I wanted to serve my country. But soon I began to question what right we had to tell every man I killed. I killed a piece of myself. Split his soul seven ways. Oh wait, that's a different movie. Hmm. God. You must pull out of the war to save your son's life. This is nonsense. You dare to risk your son's life! Welcome back. Probably a time thing, right? It's like a really sour warhead, and he yeah. just had that pucker face. <laughs> <laughs> he had it extra. The, the warheads are always, it's the what's on the outside, right? You put more of it on the inside. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And just a like, total pucker face. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you want to go, Conrad? Russia. Why? To help Cousin Yusupov deal with Rasputin. He's going to force Russia out of the war. Kitchener, have you killed so many men that you're now relying on boys to run your military intelligence? How dare you speak Shut to- Shut up, Morton. Who's got more power, a general or a duke? One more dispatch box for tonight, sir. Damn it, Morton. How much do you expect a man to read? Definitely more of a soldier than I am, a sailor. Well, go outside, man, and get some air. Kitchener's about to die. Yep. He's about to explode. Oh, he hasn't opened that one yet. Is it the shepherd? Yeah. My God, forgive me. He sent a Russian sub? I'm assuming it's a Russian sub. I thought he was Scottish. Who knows? Maybe it's a personal sub. First Ferdinand and now Kitchener. I'm saying it was a German mine. Maybe it was a German sub? Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, already has a secret lair, huh? Well, about time. Welcome to the cloak. The cloak. My reputation is of a man not wanting to be involved which means that my character finds it much easier to be involved unnoticed just like domestic servants everywhere who are seen but not heard shola and polly have gathered a network of domestics such as the world has never seen <laughs> servants in all the big houses 
Now, after Ferdinand's assassination, I visited Gavrilo Princip in his prison in Sarajevo. So limp's fake? No. No. It's just like Yoda. Then I think we must go to Russia immediately and find a way to interrogate this monk. But by all accounts, Rasputin is unbreakable. My lord, one life to save millions. Well, that's where that phrase comes from. The only way to honor the vow I made to your mother is to break the vow I made to myself. It is time for us to kill Grigory Rasputin. It's a weird promise to make to yourself. Not to kill that guy? I guess, to never kill. Because he's a pacifist. Yeah. Oh. The Tsar's nanny informs me of Rasputin's weakness for sweet cakes. And even sweeter boys. Ew. Conrad will entice Rasputin to a private dessert in the summer room. Polly, get baking. Yeah, and don't forget the poison. Yeah, he doesn't want to get the second base with Rasputin. Right. Where'd he get Heelys this time of year? Mm. I think he's on the hoverboard. Mm. Are you waiters or Englishmen? Whatever you are, get me a fucking drink. Are you a monk or a ballet dancer? I see you've mastered the Berioska glide. Why don't you glide over there and get me a fucking drink? It's very similar to the moonwalk. <laughs> Does that mean he was doing this underneath? <laughs> underneath, his, underneath his <laughs> robe? We're certainly a lot more fun than I am in these dark days. <laughs> I only make decisions when my stomach is full or my balls are empty. Makes two of us Rasputin. No comment. And what is it that you Russians do that an Englishman can enjoy? Oh, everything. Food, music, Ballet, tobacco, art, but most of all, the six. We like to fuck like tigers. Oh, okay. It's an aggressive statement. Siberian tigers. I'm real creeped out. Put your leg in my lap. I may be able to fix it. Yeah. Not here, somewhere private, of course. Yeah, he's gonna take him up for that offer? I mean, if he could fix his leg, <laughs> it's kind of convenient. So his son wasn't up for the test, so he's gonna... Please. Take your trousers off and sit down. I love it when you say that to me. <laughs> then come inside. Fuck in front of the fire. You're doing a great job making us be really creepy. Right? I'm so uncomfortable. I mean, you should be uncomfortable I, with Rasputin. I am. Bacon tart is my favorite. We can eat it together when, when I put my trousers back on. <laughs> Do you smell the poison? It's an almond cake, so I would imagine if it shouldn't. Hmm. It's an aggressive way to eat a cake. I mean, I like cake, but not that much. Ew! Ew! 
Tell me the truth. Why are you here? I'm here. Because? Because. 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 Because, because I'm going oh. to kill. Oh. You almost gave it up. Are you okay, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Only two minutes in the cold water and you will be like a new man. He's still trying to fix his leg. <laughs> my, my leg? Yes. It's healed. Yes. Yes. Is he going to have a second thoughts because his leg's going to be fixed? Cyanide! No! If you really knew my reputation, you'd know I'd take a little poison for breakfast to keep myself immune. Now that's more like. Time to dance. Uh oh. Go and help your father. Is his leg healed yet? Breathe, breathe, breathe. Father, you're right. Breathe. Get him into the fire. That. Shoot this guy. <laughs> Some dancing on the table. Uh oh. Oh shit, that hurts. What was that? Laced with poison, you think? Yeah. Fucking kill this guy He's already. He's got the gun. Yeah, shoot him! Shoot me. Oh, more dancing. Ew. Oh god, don't rip his head off. Don't rip his head off. Don't rip his head off. God, don't rip his head off. Okay. gonna die yeah uh, uh, is there Merlin dead though what about Shola no. oh shit thank you nanny fucking hell woman's got to do the hard work here <laughs> Is Shoot him where it counts. Oh, he's dead yet. You be fucking kidding me! What's well, rude? He's gonna walk crooked for a week. Think <laughs> <laughs> it's be longer than a week. What's with this head? Comrade Lenin. Yes, my shepherd. It's Lenin. When my revolution is complete. The flock's left will be so powerful. It's like bad CGI to make his head look like that. Equal to balance from the right. So he's gonna take over Russia after they kill the Tsar. Today your father broke his vow of pacifism. But it was the right thing to do. Also, he didn't technically kill Rasputin? <laughs> Re Rasputin? Rasputin? Rasputin. Whatever. Nanny did. A toast to our successful mission and my new leg who'd have thought all they uh all you needed was a monk to lick it finger lick it lick it and stick it in the ice now that i've blown out 19 candles i'm sure you'll give me your blessing as i join up and if 
finally fulfill my duty to my country. Oh, jeez. My wishes have nothing to do with your age. Father, your wishes were only granted because of my age. I'm... There's nothing you can do to stop me now. Aye, aye, aye. But you're asking for the one thing that I cannot and I will not give you. Well, please enlisting. This code is what the Kaiser has been using. It must be unbelievably important. Can you break it? What makes the grass grow? Blood, blood, blood. What are you going to do? Kill, kill, kill! Ah! Ah! Kill, kill, kill. That seems a little aggressive. Yeah. What makes the grass grow? Blood, blood, blood. No. Yeah. That broke the code. So they're asking Mexico to invade America. Imprint there. So when President Wilson sees this, then he has no choice, but he has to enter the war. And the war will be over. Just gotta remember the Alma. But how can this telegram be real? Not even the Germans would be this stupid. I'm not doing a damn thing till I have undeniable proof. Douglas, Statesman on the Rocks, please. <laughs> Statesman on the Rocks. <laughs> Wait, did the statesmen exist yet? Probably. If not, they're probably not far behind, huh? Yeah. You've been assigned back to London. Sir, th there must be some mistake. Fortune favors the brave. Or those under the king's gaze. Oh boy. He knows. It's gonna piss him off. He's being protected. He doesn't like that. You swap identities with somebody? Yep. Conrad has sent me to see the Duke. According to Conrad, I'm Lancelot. You're Merlin. And I'm requesting an audience with King Arthur. He's Scott. Yeah. Do you think we can extend our network to the White House? Most of the household staff were trained in England, so it shouldn't be a problem. All right, well, let's get to work then. I'll get onto it right away. Thank you. Now they're forming the statesman. <laughs> Lance Corporal Reed of the Black Watch, sir. So then why are you wearing a grenadier's officer's uniform? This will explain it better than I can. It's a wee bit surreal, sir. It says, fuck you, Dad. Here's your son. <laughs> <laughs> Doing it my way. I've swapped places with Archie Reed. The man in front of you. He's a good man. Yes, sir. Who is simply following my orders and is possibly as confused as you are. <laughs> oh, jeez. This war never stops surprising me. German waving a Union Jack. What's next? Allow me to answer that, Sergeant Major. Was that a German running from them? That like was actually a British spy. Oh. Our country needs what he was carrying, and I therefore need six volunteers. You will accompany me to retrieve what's left of him as soon as it's dark. Very good, lad. Who else? You five. One step forward. Five more brave volunteers, sir. Excellent. We move out at midnight. Bolin told. <laughs> yeah, very good of a spy. Just, just run through the No field. shit. This would suck. I cannot see shit in the dark. Hold your fire. If they hear us from the trenches, we'll be fired upon from both sides. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they, they don't want to understand be... as if they open fire everybody everybody gonna else is going to shoot and not all of them so they're just going to try and take each other out with the knives they're steps... both going after the body if somebody steps on a mine though 
Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's one to one. Two on one. Oh, that evens it out. the skirt should be a dead giveaway <laughs> when yeah. whose TV is. Is he gonna find the spy? Yeah. First time out here, lad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Same side. Thank God for the Union Jack, eh? Mm. Spy still alive. I suggest you finish the mission and go home to a hero's welcome. No. Off we go to a hero's welcome. Carry him out of there? Yeah. Whew. Nice shot. I just started running. <laughs> He's almost there. Ooh. You all right? You all right? Jesus Christ, you were amazing. <laughs> what the bloody hell were you doing over there in the first place? I was, I was a, a bear. I ask him. Ask him. He's he dead. He'll explain everything. <laughs> What's up, dude? You can go for your necklace. Yeah. Oh, you found it. Where was it? I had it hanging in a safe spot. I just forgot I put it there. There you go. Good night. Mom, my, my tummy. My tummy. I Did you go get? I heard you go get a snack. Didn't no, you? No, Charlie did. Well, do you, did. do you need a little snack? Yeah. Okay, go get yourself a little snack before bedtime and then go to bed, okay? Okay. Love Good you. night. You're not Archie Reed. Lance Corporal Archie Reed's a friend of mine. And I've been looking for him all night. So who are you? You're right. There's a simple explanation. I'm not Archie. Fucking really. German spy. <gasps> oh shit! Oh. Your son was killed in action, son. Friendly fire. <laughs> He died a hero. Uh, did they get? Did they get that intel to the high command? Who knows? They figured out who he was, obviously. I, Nikolai Alexandrovich Romanov, Emperor of Russia, to hereby declare my irrevocable determination to renounce the throne for myself and my descendants. Indeed. Mm, End of that monarchy, huh? Yep. Boy, and didn't Lenin do such a good job? Yeah. I don't think he was bad at stalling, though. America will not have to join the war. Conrad succeeded where we all failed. I knew Conrad was gonna die because 
That's how he was trying so hard to keep them alive. The Kingsmen were formed because the heirs, the sons, were all killed. And they had nowhere to transfer the money, so they privatized and made their, the funds to this company. Sure. The American president is about to be given the actual telegram I forced the Kaiser to send. Such undeniable proof could provoke the Americans into entering the war. On guard. I like a man who'll admit to his mistakes, but I like more a woman who can fix them. Oh, shh. It's time to show the president who the real boss is. Who are you? We have no idea. Just some bald dude. Will your grace be having tea? Oh, boy. The last time I don't want any fucking tea! Neither do I. I've even been advised to change my German surname, Saxe Coburg, to Windsor. More English. I wanted to give you this for Conrad, a true hero. Don't they change their name to Windsor? Yeah. I think. If it were just you, you and I, in our grief, I'd say, do as you will. But he's watching. And he would have been such a better man. He won't be that, so you must, in his stead, be the man your son would have been. You okay? <laughs> I do not accept your resignation, but I will accept. A very strong cup of tea. And a sharp razor. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. First things first. Just careful around the nose. All right. Hmm. Are we going to see our first gadget? Isn't his... his I guess his cane, cane sword is kind of a gadget. That's kind of not... Cane sword has been around for a while. It's like 1914. I can't have too many gadgets. Mm, took up the umbrella. Please inform the ambassador the Duke of Oxford is here to see him. Yes, your grace. Marta. An exquisite cashmere. Yes, it's very rare. Mm. Do you know the test of a truly pure cashmere? A ring? Mm. Now that is disappointing. But this is not. Well, she did the test. String and cashmere through a ring. That's a thing? Yeah. Never heard of them. See how smooth it is? Ah. <laughs> is she dead? No. She'll be fine. And so will you, as long as we have an honest conversation. Mm. Well, that's one of Rasputin's ladies, isn't it? Something. She filmed herself seducing the president. And is now blackmailing us to not even think about oh, no, it's the lady. Okay. We cannot risk the integrity of the U.S. presidency. I'm sure. Oh, presidents are slutty. Who gives a <laughs> shit? They're <laughs> men. What do you expect? That's you close the blinds. This is cashmere from the Camelero goat. It's very rare. Where does it come from? Mr. Collins, cashmere book number one, please. They have books on cashmere. Cool. The only place in the world where the Camelero goat breeds. Excellent. Shola, we're going into the cashmere business. What country is this in? Alpine goat, so the Alps. So... No idea. <laughs> no idea. Oh, no, Polly, the film's negative is going to be up there. And that's our real prize. 
If these guards are alerted, then I don't think... Ooh, cheese. This is called a parachute. It means that one can jump out of a plane safely. Or off a Tomorrow high plateau. Will fly the plane over the mountain. Oh. The shoulder will jump out. You land with the <laughs> He's like, I'll do what? Sir, I have to do anything for you. But I cannot jump out of an aeroplane. <laughs> Uh, yes, well, I appreciate your fear of heights, but I, you know, I am the only one who can fly, so... But you wouldn't have to land the plane. you just have to land yourself. Did Conrad ever teach him how to fly? No. He's so just going to ditch the plane midair. All right, Shola. Get ready for my signal. So he's just going to crash the plane? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oopsie. How does he get out of this? Is he gonna have enough time to pull a chute? Pull oh, juice. Oh, caramba. Make sure you land up there. Could not have gone worse. Oh. What the fuck is that goat doing? Goats are funny. They <laughs> climb basically vertical cliffs with ease. This way? Yeah. I don't know if we're just going to go do that before. Anyways. Oh, that's where we get the boot knife from. Oh, Lordy. We have to parkour his ass up this thing. <laughs> Take notes. Follow the goat's lead. It's honestly impressive. Do you think goats actually do that? Yeah. I don't think so. I was watching a video the other day on the Prove internet. It. Prove goats it. Goats just basically like, whoa! Running like full speed up. Stuff like that. I mean, I'll know the, I know they, they climb on ledges and shit like that, but... Oh, Jesus. Just like that. Parkour. <laughs> Hello, sir. Whoa. Oh, God. See, that's a problem. Goats are dickheads. <laughs> Grab his horn. He's like, I respect you now. <laughs> he won the goat duel. <laughs> They can take this negative to the press, and it will ruin his reputation. War will be the last thing on the Americans' mind. Make it snappy, pal! He might just hit the ground. <laughs> Buddy, what's the hold up? There's the signal. Get to the lift. I'll cover you. Oh boy. It's a big dude. Oh shit. It must be Switzerland. They're making Swiss cheese. Gatling guns. Oh, I was gonna say, does he have his Ouch. other foot knife yet? Still, or did he only had one. He only had the one that broke. Whew. 
Ooh. She's looking a little cheesy. <laughs> that guy's dead. Nice. Ooh, got the whole head. <laughs> Can you find the negative? Oh, she's got it. You are the very symbol of everything I'm trying to destroy. Aristocrats like you. Stole my parents' mill in Scotland when I was a lad. He sounds familiar. I just can't place it. Come to Papi, you posh prick. I'm really gonna reveal who he is. Only after he's like dead. Swordsman. What say we end this shite as gentlemen? After all, manners maketh man. A gentleman does not hide in the shadows. Manners maketh man. Who is this guy? Surprise. Hmm. I suggest we go to Russia and sort out ourselves. And in poor Kitchener's case, quite literally. Hmm. Oh, he made good time getting from the rowboat to a sub. He's been faking his accent this whole time. For good measure. Hey! Shala took the bullet from him. He'll be all right. Just shoulder shoulder shot. Room. Does he have a trick sword too, or no. he's doing cool camera shots? Yeah, just interesting camera shots, huh? I love a good sword fight. Ooh, I'm good. This gentleman shite. I mean, that'll give you a concussion, but better than taking the full force. At least you're not dead. The goat's gonna save him. Definitely, it's gonna headbutt him or something. Because he's pissed about the horn still. Ouch. Ooh, got him with his one horn. Let him go. Let him go. You are. A pacifist. I'll tell that to the, the like eight guys he just killed. I shouldn't let you fall. Only now I have become the man that my son would have been. Yeah. <laughs> With the metal. Ouch. So you jump in front of a bullet for me, but not out of an aeroplane. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. My pleasure. How are you going to get down? You don't have a counterweight. So, Shola, how are we going to get down? Yeah. <laughs> Make a parachute out of cashmere? Mr. President, Chef has made your favorite peanut butter cookies. Mm. Thus, World War One was ended. And I thank you for ensuring that I didn't meet the same fate as my cousins. 
Wilhelm's abdication was understandable, but what happened to Nicholas? Yikes. Would you meet me tomorrow at Kingsman, three o'clock? A tailor's shop. Gonna formalize this organization. And I propose that we become the founding members of the Kingsman Agency. All right. I don't know who that chick was. Was that not Polly? I don't think so. She just wasn't in her... Oh, maybe, I guess. It outfit? looked real different no, to me. Um, This was much more serious than I thought yeah. it was going to be, right? Did not have the... The levity. Of the first. Right. But, I mean... It was, like, darker. They had to be a little bit serious, because Conrad was going to... Right. Real depressing, actually. Yeah. But, hey, it was the times. It was war. Yeah. Did you like it? I did. Definitely a different tone than the first two Kingsman's mm -hmm. movie. But, I mean, it kind of feels like they were setting it up because they had what's his name who plays Lance a lot. He didn't really do anything, but he's kind of a known face, right? He played like, Quicksilver. Yeah. And they kind of felt like they were setting it up to have its own branch in the yeah. universe. Like they could make Kingsman, the Kingsman 2, right? Yeah. So, Kingsman, the early years. <laughs> but I, th I thought it was cool how they integrated uh, all the World War One lore. Yeah, the with, history. Like, I I don't working in the shadows behind the scenes. I don't know a lot about World, World War One yeah, at all, unfortunately. Yeah. So, I don't know how much of it was like accurately yeah. or semi accurately I really represented. Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated, and that's what sparked it. Mm. But as you once said, our right hand now needs strengthening. Come in. Enter Stalin. No, I'm a Fuhrer. Oh, Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Before he shaved his mustache. I need to learn more about history. <laughs> well, yeah, they're definitely setting it up to be its own little universe. Yeah, right? for sure. Mm -hmm. You got... Hitler and I Lenin. Feel, feel like up. a really weird band of brothers coming. Yeah. So you got the dark organization and the Kingsmen being the light side of the coin. Mm -hmm. so there you go. Interesting. Trying to prevent World War II from sparking in. Thirty years later. Eighteen years, I think. Eighteen. That's it. Yeah. Ouch. It's it's not maybe enough, twenty some years. It's not enough time to make more babies to. Five more soldiers, war. right? Jesus. But I think there's just enough time. So, a little baby boom for the next war. And that was a much bigger war. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. So, hmm. I don't think this movie was well received as the first two Kingsmen. Hmm. But also, it came out. It was out, a departure from the first two. Yeah, for it sure. came out in 2020, so. Not nothing very many movies did well nothing that year. was well received in 2020 right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, i liked it i mean yeah it was definitely darker in tone in this one but mm. it still had i mean they were still fun it was still a great action flick it wasn't good action until the very end honestly but yeah, it was a lot more spying through the first half and then the final action piece in the last half yeah so and definitely Rasputin was pretty... Uh, he was creepy as shit. Yeah. Yeah. I liked his fight scene, too. The yeah, that Russian was ballerina good. dancing and mm -hmm. stuff. That was pretty good. I was hoping that they would throw in a little hint of Anastasia. but Who was Anastasia? She was the lost princess, the Russian princess. That supposedly survived the, the hit on the emperor. Was it emperor? I gotta watch something. I don't... You've never seen Anastasia? No. Rasputin's a bad guy in that. Yeah. So. Oh, there's a train in that, right? That's all I remember about that movie. Is there some sort of train? Okay. There's lots of trains back I then. Just, I don't fucking <laughs> know. The main form of transportation. Could somebody world. give me some tips on like a movie that I should watch that's like pretty informative about World yeah, War One? Yeah, something that's going to really give me some good inf intel about World War One. I, I mean, this kind of had a lot of things. 
while there was a lot of fantasy this is maybe in this, it this is this the most it, world war one there was definitely a lot of like behind the scenes obviously most of this was fictionalized but like it took actual facts and just had fun with it, it like, yeah. here's the secret organization that was actually pulling all the strings behind the scenes right right right, right. but everything that well, that was kind of happening really was kind of stopping everybody. everybody Why did it happen? Away. Why? I don't... The just because the cousins are dicks to each other? Yeah, they were all related. Just don't like, like each other? And then... Well, then you got, like... I don't know. It sort of seemed like a revolution happening at the same time within Russia. Russia yeah. The overthrowing of the of monarchy, A lot of instability. Right? I mean, a lot of that... A lot of this stuff happens during war. I mean, remember when we watched Pan's Labyrinth, the whole revolution going on yeah, in Spain. Yeah, I still don't know what happened in Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> but if you take the actual <laughs> what's going on, the revolution, not the fantasy part of that. Yeah, yeah. That, that was going on during, you know, the aftermath of World War II, in, in the middle of it. Too, no, so. you're, yeah, you're right. I mean, war brings... Um, Un- unrest. And yeah, and the unrest. Instability. Yep. Instability, so... Brings other, other things. Other people so. can take over and... Change, yeah. yeah. Nobody likes that kind of instability. Yeah, but great cast in this. Interesting, yeah. Ralph Fiennes did a pretty good job playing a good guy for once. Phineas. Yeah, that's what I said. Isn't it Phineas? Phineas? Sure. It's not Fiennes. Voldemort. Voldemort. The chef from the menu. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, and uh, Shala. Well, I can't pronounce his name. Dijamon. He's always awesome. Yeah, I don't know how to say his name either, but I yeah. Yeah, I like him. I always remember from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Starlord? Who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, he's uh, good in everything. His, uh, his sword was awesome. It reminded me of the um, the White Rangers Saba sword with the little line on the end. Power Rangers. All okay. Power Ranger nerds know what I'm talking about. It Great. Looked, like, it was the same size sword and everything. Sweet. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Well, uh, rank them. Yeah, where does the King's Man rank in your Kingsman universe rankings? Yeah. And would you like to see a sequel to this? With what they set up with right. Lenin and Hitler being chums. When does Stalin come in? Stalin is after Lenin. Oh. During World War II. He's Russian too. So what probably happens, because they, right here, Lenin and Hitler are friends, but Stalin fights with the allies against Russia or against Germany. So then really? maybe, I don't know. How I don't know go. history. What would the Kingsman's behind the scenes of Stalin be? That'd be interesting. To, I'd like to see that. Anywho, we've been talking for 20 fucking minutes, so let's go ahead and are you, are you I'm over, over it. it. Are you? I think the people are Let us know over. all your thoughts on the Kingsman. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for something else. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our viewers. Want to comment? Access to polls. Help us people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.